Okay, this is lesson two. And in this lesson, we're going to discuss um, cutting out images that have gaps. So you can see a gap here and here. All along this flower, there's gaps all over. And same thing with this goose, there's gaps. And then there's all of this um, grass that you are going to have problems with. So there's two ways to go about this. And what we'll do is we'll do um, the rose with the pencil and then we'll do the goose with the acetate. So I'm going to place this down and tip my video so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So on the pencil one, I'm going to take my pencil and kind of go through and connect up all those spots where there is a gap. Okay, so you want to make sure that what you end up with is, is an outline all the way around. So I'll go around and make sure that I have one everywhere. I think that's it. Okay, then the other one is the acetate trick. So I'm going to take a piece of washi tape and a little piece of acetate and I'm going to cover over that goose. And I'm just going to put one little piece of washi tape up there at the top. Then I'm going to take a fine tip sharpie and I'm going to go around that goose. And I'm going to get a sharpie that works. Here we go. And I'm going to fill in all those spots where there's gaps. So, and then along this grass, I'm just going to, you know, connect it up the way I want it to cut. I'll let it come down and catch that one and then just come across the bottom here like this. And then around. We'll let it go down inside there and then back out to the goose. And then along here. There we go. That's the one that I'm worried about about the most. There we go. Okay. So let's see how that works. So I'm going to zoom back out and tip you back up. All right. So again, I'm going to load my mat in. And I'm going to say pattern, I'm sorry, not pattern, scan, direct cut. And again, I have contrast, so the black and white is fine. And I'll say start. And so then I'll click on OK, and as you can see, it's found both of them. So again, I'm going to get rid of all of this, what I call noise, and bring it in like this. And then you want to remember to take your acetate off, and that's why you just have it with a little piece here. And you're going to just peel that off. Now, if you want to hang on to that, you can use it again um, you know, it's got these little marks in it. You can use it again in the future. Otherwise, just toss it. And you're going to say OK. And cut.
so as you can see here, I'll cut everything out. And we'll take your little flower off. Oh, it it went actually in and cut here. I didn't see that. So that must one of the pencil lines it probably didn't see. But most of them it did. And you can come back in with an eraser and erase those pencil lines so that you can't tell that they were ever there. Um, so that's how you can do it using a pencil. And come on, loose. And here is your goose. And as you can see, it cut out exactly. So that's the two methods for um, getting cut images when you have an open space, is either using a pencil or using the acetate.